Hello people, welcome to the video series where we learn Kotlin by solving hacker rank algorithms challenges. In the last video, we went through solve me first. And now in this video, let's go over simple array sum. Using this button, again, I'm gonna make it full screen and then read the description. Given an array of integers, find the sum of its elements. For example, if the array is 1, 2, 3, then you should return 1 plus 2 plus 3, hence 6. So, uh, before beginning to solve this problem, I want to make sure that you are familiar with uh, the concept of array. So, an array is very similar to a list. It's a more primitive data type. And uh, historically, uh, it exists in maybe all of the programming languages, almost all of the programming languages, let's say. So it's, it's a very simple representation of a collection of data. Uh, and it's, again, as I said, it's primitive. So you cannot, for example, after defining an array, you cannot add elements or remove elements. Uh, you can only uh, update uh, the elements. So this is, this is what an array is, but let's not dive into the details of an array because that's not the point. The point is, can you find the sum of all the elements in a collection or in an array, okay? Uh, so as I said, array and list are very similar. So most of the things you can apply to an array, you can apply to a list or the opposite. Let's go to IntelliJ IDEA again to solve this problem. Simple array sum uh, is a function. Where do we know that? It, it says so, fun means function. This is the function name, okay. And this is the argument. Uh, it, this function, simple array sum, has only one argument. And the return type is an integer. Cool, so what is this? Like we know, okay, array is a data type. But what is this less than and greater than signs? And there, there it says integer in between. This is called uh, generic types. Uh, and generics is somewhat complicated topic. So I don't want to talk about it much. But you can read this as the following. Array, AR, is an array of integers. So you can... Read this as of array of integers. Okay, so what does it mean? It means this array holds only integers. For example, if we have a list, you already know list. So uh, if we have a list like this, list of uh, let's say apple, orange, and let's say melon. Uh, this is a list of strings, right? So if we want to explicitly state the type, we can write list of string, okay? This is the same logic here, list of string. That means it's a list holding string values. So this is very similar. The AR is an array which holds integers. So array of integers, okay? Cool. So we have an array of integers and we need to return an integer. And this integer that we need to return needs to be the sum of all elements. How do we do that? We, we have, we, this array can be uh, of size three or five or 50 or a thousand. How can we go over each element and add them together? Actually, these, answer to my question how, uh, lies in the question we need to go over each and every element and we need to somehow add them together so the first solution using four okay four loops uh, loops are when you want to do repeated actions right so since we want to iterate over this array and uh, find each element and get them somehow, collect them into a sum uh, to calculate the sum of all, 
we need to go over, go and visit all of them. Going and visiting all of them means we need to use a loop. And when, when you say loop, the first thing that comes to my mind is a for loop. So let's say if we have uh, this kind of for loop for element in AR, what does this mean? If you remember the for loops, if you don't know, by the way, pause this video, go to Code Academy loops video and see how for loops work, okay? Or you can do a basic research about for loops. That, that also works. But uh, here, this for loop has two parts. The first part is a loop variable, and the second part is an iterable or an iterator. I don't know how to call it. But the right-hand side, after this in keyword, you can put a collection, you can put uh, an array, you can put a data range, um, for example, an int range. Uh, you can say like 0 to 20. You can do that, okay? And if you give it an array, then it will iterate this array and gives every element inside the first part here and this first part is called loop variable so since this is like the very first videos I want to be explicit and I want to do lots of comments so loop variable in uh, so here it can be an array it can be a collection it can be a range okay here it's an array loop variable element in array ar cool so let's say if if this array is something like this something like 2 8 10 5 and 9 if the given array is like so then in the first loop in the first iteration of the loop uh, element or you can call it EL or Safa, whatever, but it should be meaningful. So I will stick with the naming element. Element will be two in the first run. And in the second run, in the second iteration, element would be eight and then 10, then five and then nine. And after this array is uh, completely iterated, the for loop will finish and exit so this is how a for loop works cool so since we have all the elements in this array let's say let's say just just to see if we print this uh, element just to make sure you understand and I, i'm gonna return zero because i need to return something now uh, currently i'm returning zero we'll come to this later uh, and i'm gonna run this function by adding a main function and calling simple array sum with uh, with an array 2, 8, 10, 5, 9. Okay? So let's run this main function and see what does this function do. If you take a look here, you can see that it printed all of the elements on an each line uh, because we use println. Cool. So this validates our hypothesis. Like uh, element here is getting the values of the given array one by one until it is uh, until it finishes the whole array. Cool. But how can we sum all of these into uh, into one big integer. How can we do that? The trick is getting a variable ready beforehand and starting from zero. Let's call it sum. And this sum is what we will return actually. Okay? We will return this sum. If this for loops, uh, if this for loop does not exist, then we return zero but since we have a for loop now we can modify the value of this sum if i add element inside sum each time 
So you, you know this notation, right? It means sum equals sum plus element. But the shorter way is using augmented assignment operators like so. If I do that, element in array, it was first 2, then 8, then 10, then 5, then 9. Uh, in the first run, in the first iteration, sum will go from 0 to 2, right? Then in the next iteration, it will go from 2 to 2 plus 8, 2 plus 8. So it'll, it'll be 10. Then 10 plus 10, 20. Then uh, it'll add it 5 and then 9. So after this whole code runs, the value of sum will be the addition, the sum of all these elements. So this is how, how it is. This is how we can find the sum of all elements in a collection or in an array using a side variable to, to hold the sum of them. Cool. Uh, yeah, this, this is, uh, let, let, let's see if this works, okay? So I'm going to hold this value while uh, sum is equal to simple array sum. By the way, this is a function which has a return type. That means when you use it after, for example, an assignment operator, it will evaluate to what is returned. Okay, so this will evaluate into one integer and that integer is the sum we are returning here so uh, the sum this this can be anything like sum of array okay doesn't matter this and that does not need to be uh, the same name uh, but here since this function is returning us an integer then this will evaluate it into let's say 34 okay cool um, yeah let's change it back to sum well sum is equal to simple array sum array of something uh, if if you're confused with that let's say we have an array defined uh, an array let's call it an array and you can do it on two different lines you can do this okay first assign this into a variable and then put that variable inside or you can do like what I do and do it on one single line this also looks fine to my eyes cool and then let's print this sum okay print lin sum let's run this and see if it works it printed 34 why because it went over all of the elements in this array, in the given array, and then uh, calculated the sum in one variable and returned that variable, as you see. And uh, yeah, this is it, right? This, this is how, how you can iterate over an array. Cool, this is a solution. And this solution works, but uh, I want to show you some more solutions. Let's copy and paste this. Okay. Oh, sorry. I copied the wrong thing. I think, yeah, I think this needs to go to here. Yeah, and I need to copy and paste this. Cool. And and let's say we named this simple array sum tool. Okay. This simple array sum tool, uh, instead of using for loops, I can use a for each loop. What does it mean? It is like so. If I do that, if I do ar dot for each, then uh, you can you can go over the elements of an array, but using a different syntax. So the element here 
will be called it okay it says it is an integer so uh, when i say it that means i'm referring to each element in in this loop so this is another solution uh, so what i can do is i can do sum plus equals it cool like this solution also looks cool also i can do it at one single line right still looks cool this is also a solution let's run and see if it works or not cool it again calculated 34 here so it works uh but i want to show you another another and maybe a better solution let's go let's do it copy and paste this into another file and let's name it three and uh <laughs> what what if i say i was like uh cheating not, not cheating but like i was trying to manipulate your thinking so that instead of taking shortcuts you think uh the background of how this thing works uh, because what, what i'm what, what i'm saying is you know that now uh, to calculate the sum of elements in an array, you need to go over each and every uh, single of them and then like combine them in, in one variable. You know that. You, you know that the algorithm is, is working like so. But there are some shorthand uh, syntaxes and there are some helper functions. There are some shortcuts that you can take. After learning how th does this thing work, in the background actually okay so i want to show you that and that is instead of uh going and doing a forage i will just run sum okay in kotlin there is a sum function that will get the sum find the sum of all elements in in this array or in the in a list okay if you go to that you can see that, by the way, you can see they use the same thing that we implemented. They hold an integer variable sum and then they return uh, the sum. But they also have a for loop which will iterate in this. This means here uh, the array. OK, uh, yeah, let's let's ignore this uh, for now. And they use sum plus equals element, the same uh, syntax we used. So this is how this thing work in the background. But you can all, always use this because you already know how to find the sum uh, in a uh, of, of the elements in a list or of the elements in an array. Cool. But do you think that uh, it makes sense if we... If we use two lines to return this i don't think so and i think uh, intellij idea also suggests us to inline this variable it means just return it return ar.sum but even if you want to make this even shorter you can you can use this shorthand syntax ar ar dot sum okay it's that easy so i want to upload this solution to hackering to see if that works yeah let's paste it and that's all like simple array sum ar <laughs> integer is equal to ar dot sum let's submit this code to see if it covers all of the edge cases Yeah, we passed all of the test cases. We are good to go. That's all for this video. See you in the next one. Take care.